The discovery of oil and other minerals has caused a lot of excitement, especially among communities in mineral-rich areas. Contrary to popular expectation, however, investors are urging the government to sensitize local communities on the commercial viability of the mining sector. This is something that is exciting. It is capital intensive uh, and it will take some time. We need to manage expectations because after all, with the best of technologies, only about two or three wells out of ten will be successful. And some of the wells we're going to be drilling in the future in deep water, ultra deep water offshore Kenya, will be a minimum of $100 million each for each single well. So you can imagine drilling a water well and you are sinking $100 million in there. Sector players say they are eager to incorporate local talent into the industry, but say it might take the country between 10 to 20 years to generate the required skills. There is, however, hope for local communities as up to 40% of all expenditure spent by the sector is on supportive services. Most people need to understand that a lot of the money in the oil industry is really made through the oil services because they do not actually engage in risk. They sell services and those services could be very profitable. Kamak Energy, which launched its local operations last night, has acquired four exploration blocks on the Lamu Basin, two of which are offshore. The company says Kenya is uniquely positioned to benefit from the emerging oil and gas sector. For us, Kenya will be a springboard in terms of the East African ventures and what we are doing in East Africa. Kamak Kenya is 15% owned by local investors and will spend 3 billion shillings in the initial phase of its exploration with a further 8.5 billion shillings set to be spent over the next two years. For Citizen Business, I'm Henry Gedaiga.